Valbara. The earliest known supercontinent, Valbara, formed 3.6 billion years ago, when small continental fragments called cratons fused together. Earth was young, hot, and unstable. There was no oxygen in the air, no plants or animals, only microscopic life in the oceans. Valbara may have helped stabilize Earth's crust and kickstart continental growth before it broke apart, approximately 2.8 billion years ago. Ur, Ur was formed during the Archean Eon, around 3.1 billion years ago. It may have survived as a core piece in later supercontinents. Ur was likely dry and barren, but it played a key role in the long-term assembly of Earth's land masses. It is estimated to have persisted for about 400 million years, within the Mesoarchean Siderian period in Earth's geological history. Canorland. Canorland formed as Earth's crust cooled and expanded. As it broke up, oxygen levels rose, likely triggering one of Earth's first ice ages. Glaciers spread, and Earth entered a new climate phase, the beginning of a more complex atmosphere and biosphere. It formed roughly 2.7 billion years ago and lasted for 600 million years. This time frame falls within the Neoarchean and early Paleoproterozoic eras of Earth's history. Columbia. Also known as Nuna, Columbia was the first supercontinent to possibly stretch across much of the globe. It helped drive the rise of mountain chains and the cycling of key minerals. Though life was still microbial, Columbia's tectonic activity may have increased nutrients in oceans, preparing Earth for more complex life likely forming 1.82 billion to 1.35 billion years ago. It was a Paleoproterozoic supercontinent. Rodinia. Rodinia was massive, possibly Earth's largest supercontinent yet. Its formation slowed tectonic activity, but when it began to break apart, it caused huge changes in ocean circulation. This may have led to Snowball Earth, a time when ice reached the equator and global glaciation took over. This occurred 1.3 billion to 750 million years ago, making it a Mesoproterozoic and Neoproterozoic supercontinent. Panosia. Panosia formed quickly after Rodinia's breakup around 633 million years ago and was short-lived. Lasting just 60 million years, its breakup coincided with the Cambrian explosion, when complex multicellular life rapidly diversified. Though brief, Panosha's shifting plates helped create new shallow seas that supported this biological leap. Pangaea. Forming approximately 300 million years ago, it is the best-known supercontinent. Pangaea brought nearly all land into one giant mass. It spanned pole to pole, surrounded by a vast ocean called Panthalassa. Its interior was hot and dry, its coastlines lush and full of life, including early dinosaurs. When Pangaea broke apart, approximately 200 million years ago, it formed the basis of today's continents.